The King's Indian is the second most popular response to White's d4. It arises after the moves d4, knight of 6, c4, g6, when black will typically continue bishop g7 and d6. The King's Indian is one of the most exciting defences in chess and is favoured by ambitious and aggressive players. At the highest level, it has been a major weapon for world champions Bobby Fischer and Garry Kasparov. There is a wide range of options white can throw at black. Black normally hits in the centre with either an e5 or c5 advance at some point. Knight c3, bishop g7. And now, Fien cheddaring the kingside bishop with knight f3, d6, g3 is an alternative. Play is balanced after castles, bishop g2, knight bd7, castles, e5, e4, c6, h3, queen a5. But white normally plays e4 here. d6. And now let's look at the wide array of options that white has. Bishop e2 castles bishop g5 is known as the Averbuck variation. And now e5 is bad because of d takes e5, d takes e5, queen takes d8, rook takes d8, knight d5, attacking f6 and c7. Black's most popular response to the Averbuck is to play knight a6 followed by e5. f4 is the four pawns attack, one of the most aggressive methods for white to play against the king's indian. Castles, knight of three. And now the main line is to challenge white's center with c5, d5, e6, bishop e2, e takes d5, c takes d5. We have reached a position reminiscent of the modern Benoni. In recent play, rook e8 and bishop g4 have been equally popular. f3 is the sameish variation. This often leads to very sharp play with the players castling on opposite wings and attacking each other's kings. Black's most popular way to play is to offer a pawn with castles, bishop e3, c5. Most white players deem that taking the pawn is too dangerous as black gets a big initiative. So they normally decline with knight g2, knight c6, d5, knight e5, knight g3, e6, bishop e2, e takes d5, c takes d5, a6, when we reach a double-edged position which is probably balanced. But the main line runs knight f3, castles, bishop e2, e5. Not that white can't win a pawn here with d takes e5, d takes e5, queen takes d8, rook takes d8, knight takes e5, because black simply wins the pawn back with knight takes e4, attacking the knight on e5. So white players normally castle kingside. Knight c6. And now d takes e5, d takes e5, queen takes d8, rook takes d8 is the exchange variation. Chances are balanced in this queen's, queenless middle game. But white players normally continue on with d5. Knight e7. And now a good illustration of the main themes of the king's indian is after knight e1. Knight d7. In closed positions, both players must attack on the wings, white on the queen side and black on the king side. Pawn advances give them more space and offer and open files for the rooks. Black's knight d7 prepares f5. Knight d3, f5. Bishop d2, knight f6, f3, f4. Now black will go all out for a kingside attack via g5, h5, and g4, while white will play to conquer the queen side with c5 and rook c1. Knight d2, knight d7, b4, f5 is similar to knight knight e1. And now b4. This is the main line of the king's indian known as the bayonet attack. This variation is famous in that it convinced, it convinced Kasparov to stop playing the king's indian after Kremnik beat him with this line. Although recently, the black side has been revived by Taimur Radyabov, a young super grandmaster from Azerbaijan. Theory is constantly changing in this variation, so take my analysis here with a grain of salt. Black's most popular response at the moment is knight h5. 
This move serves a similar purpose to knight d7 in the other variations. The advance f5 is prepared. Rook e1, f5. And now white normally plays knight g5, with the knight coming into e6 at some point. Knight f6. After the less popular f3, Rajabov has been doing well with the move king h8, asking white to review his hand. But more popular is bishop f3. c6, b5, h6, knight e6. Bishop takes e6, d takes e6, f takes e4, knight takes e4, knight takes e4, bishop takes e4, d5, c takes d5, c takes d5, bishop a3, d takes e4, queen takes d8, rook f takes d8, bishop takes e7, rook e8, eventually led to a draw in both Paletia Radyabov, Turkey 2007, and Brokro Radyabov, Germany 2008.